So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first US title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part to get this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world tonight. He gets a chance to prove it. as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there, you've done that. That is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the Bears have to win the world. Herb Dean, Ready our play. referee for this one. All right, so here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great event. Wow, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a strike. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Fast jab lands in. Single collar tie now. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Oh, big front kick lands flush! Doing work with the jab there. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Look 
Look at the turnover in that kick. Under two minutes here to go in round one. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Looks phenomenal. Right now. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, nice kick. <laughs> Doing a really nice job switching up the speed and the tempo of these kicks. Circling to his right. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. <clears throat> Leg kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Big body kick. Huge block there. <laughs> Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top he's got a decided advantage in reach. And he put it to good use there. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. 20 seconds to go. Back and forth we go. All right, so the round is over. Certainly stunned his opponent in that round. We'll see if he can follow up here after 60 seconds. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of finding a shot that really did affect the equilibrium of his opponent. Now he needs to go back and find the attack that's going to shut the lights off. Establishing the jab here. Oh, he's got a good left hand. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage, and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. And just misses with that big right hand. Shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh, that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Big shot to the head. Another punch to the head. Oh, big head kick there. Under three to go round two. Big punch land. Ooh. 
man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this way. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect combo as we go forward. Just misses there with the left. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. That was a massive high kick. Under two minutes now to go. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice punch to the head. Oh, and he lands again. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, wow. Oh, they're trading good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. I really hope this man doesn't have to sneeze tomorrow. It is not going to feel good. He has absorbed a whole lot of damage to the body, and they might stop this fight soon. Could you imagine what his ribs feel like oh. right now after taking all that damage to the body? It's visible. He looks like he's overreacting. He's wincing. It's hard to watch, man. Very hard to watch. Jammed there by the champ. He's got to be careful. Dip his head when throwing that jab. Nice job offensively as the strike lands clean. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Round three next. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Round three of a possible five. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Just opened up on his forehead. That bears watching. Perfect execution on that team. Yeah, left hook found its target. Oh, sidekick lands. Looks a little wobbly on his feet. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant
like an extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here, the punch is good. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, nice. We passed the midpoint here of the fight. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Just misses with that one. Oh, he is black and blue all over. Maybe even dealing with a fractured rib, but the body strikes have been the narrative in this one. And it feels like we're getting close to a stop. We're getting very close. I mean, I, I can't imagine he'd be able to take many more. We may be one body shot away from this guy just not being able to stand. Toughness on full display, but he got beat by a better fighter tonight. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Oh, clinch position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, good work with the jab there. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but I'm able to win. Big inside kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. It's got to change something. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. And he counters with a left hand. Lands a big elbow there. Heavy kick downstairs. Gets him close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. And that'll do it. Fifteen minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep fight? going in the same direction, you and you will get the finish that you want so bad. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go with that extra 10 minutes. Punches in punches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. 
Good jab. Back and forth we go. Oh, that one landed, yep. Well, confidence is high, I repeat, confidence is high. And I gotta think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's gonna think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, add that to his highlight reel. The wheel kick is good. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Overhand is good. Oh, a single collar tie. Clinch work. Under three minutes to go in round four. Oh! Cannot take too many holes. Fighter blocks a punch. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Out of range with that one. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Ooh, Superman punch lands. Got the hook in quickly. Both guys are. They worked hard. Got to block that one. Great body kick there. Beautiful strike there as he continues. Oh! That. He switches the hip really fast and gets that leg up real quick to the target. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, Back to his feet. It's a big knee! That'll do it! Back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. One final time to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And